Hey there, I'm Mealtime Mentor Casey, and I'm really excited today to be here with Nick Calloway, who is the owner and head brewer of Anna P. Brewing in Algoma, Wisconsin. This is part of our Sips and Snacks series where we pair delicious food with tasty drinks. So today, Nick's going to walk us through a craft beer pairing for our red, white, and blue trifle. So Nick, what are the three C's of pairing food with beer? Yes, we really look for cut, complement, and contrast. Okay. So those three things are going to go with the trifle and hopefully other other beverages and, and food at the same time. So mm -hmm. uh, with the trifle today, we're going to try uh, stouts. And we have three different varieties here, two of which are coffee derivatives. So you think about desserts and coffee, just a match made in heaven. Definitely. It's great. Mm -hmm. uh, ours is a chocolate milk stout. So a little more chocolatey, which chocolate and dessert also are pretty great. For um, sure. <laughs> so yeah, that's what we have today. And we'll talk a little bit about the uh, how they go together. So. Awesome. So like we said, we have our red, white, and blue trifle. So we have angel food cake. There's like a whipped kind of cheesecake pudding topping um, and then blueberries and strawberries as well. So I'll dish this up and Nick, tell us more about the two stall that you have to pair with this today. For sure. So all those things, I mean, that looks amazing. Um, mm -hmm. All those things are great. So the, the fruit is really going to kind of contrast uh, with the, uh, the beer. It's got a little bit of that acidity. Mm -hmm. um, the beer is also going to go great with the uh, custard. So dessert and either coffee stouts or chocolate stouts in this case mm -hmm. are, uh, are a little bit more fun than coffee. Yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so that's the best best part. So sure. um, yeah, Let's give it a shot. Yeah. Two stall is one of my personal favorites too. So I am very excited about Beautiful. this pairing. <laughs> so our two stall, uh, People hear chocolate milk stout, and sometimes they think, you know, really heavy. Um, but we actually brew it to be a little bit of a lighter uh, beer. Okay. So not overly heavy, and with this dessert, it looks very light and airy, but it's going to be a little bit more medium-bodied because of the uh, the custard layers. So sure. this is a medium-bodied beer. We're really trying to match the bodies. Okay. And we don't want the dessert to take over um, mm -hmm. or the beer to take over. So. It's a nice mm. light roast. Yeah. We use uh, cocoa nibs instead of uh, more of like a syrup kind of feel. Sure. Um, so you get that dark, rich, gourmet chocolate kind of feel. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. And I think that's going to cut through some of the uh, richness here. Mm -hmm. so, uh, sure. So we try that first. I was taught. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. So we want the, um, the beer to elevate the food mm -hmm. or the, the food to elevate the beer. Right. Coming from the beer guy, uh, I want the beer to be elevated a little bit. So. Yes, yes. So now we have a good flavor for uh, what the, the beer is all about. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm. That was really good. So just before it's all done, we're going to leave a little bit in our mouth. Mm -hmm. And we're going to kind of wash the beer with the food. And let's see how that beer okay. is elevated. Oh, wow kind of freshens up mm -hmm. uh, the bubbles again scrub your tongue yeah kind of remove the uh, um, the richness of the custard yeah but at the same time it really brings out the chocolate in the beer yes and that'll happen with the coffee as well so sure. that coffee element will kind of pop out a little bit mm -hmm. so I don't I think I'm always gonna have a stout now with my dessert instead of coffee I love that. <laughs> it's a great choice yes <laughs> well thanks so much for being here with us today Nick thank you course be sure to check out the rest of our videos in their series on our youtube channel and for more recipes visit festfoods.com meals